Hi, in this video I am going to explain what are the transcendental and polynomial equations. Let us start with the definition of the transcendental equation. An equation which contains the trigonometric ratios, exponential function and trigonometric function is called as the transcendental functions. Uh, here is the pronunciation is a little bit difficult, transcendental, but do not bother about it. See examples, e raised to the x plus 2 is equal to 0, log of x squared is equal to 0. These are the some example of transcendental equation. Uh, see next uh, definition, polynomial equation, the expression of the form f of x is equal to a0 x to the n plus a1 x to the n minus 1 plus dash 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 plus a n where a i is are constant and a0 is equal to not equal to 0 and n is a positive integer is called as a polynomial of degree n invariable x. Note here we are taking a0 not equal to 0 because if a0 is equal to 0 then uh, this polynomial is less than of degree n but here we are mentioning that this is the polynomial of degree n therefore a naught must be not equal to 0 uh, the polynomial f of x is equal to 0 is called as algebraic equation of degree n as this is the polynomial if this uh, we are equating this is equal to 0 then we call this as a algebraic equation of degree n it contains only the algebraic terms examples x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 x cube plus 9 is equal to 0 etc after defining the transcendental and polynomial equation our aim is to define the root of the equation a number xi is called as the root or solution or zero of the equation f of x if f of xi is equal to zero that is we are putting just value uh, x is equal to xi if uh, we are putting x is equal to xi and we get f of xi is equal to zero then xi is the root or zero of the equation say example if our function f of x is equal to x plus 2 then it has a root x is equal to minus 2 uh, put x is equal to minus 2 then minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 therefore minus 2 is the root of this equation uh, root has some geometrical meaning also a uh, root of equation is the value of x at which the graph of the function cuts the x-axis uh, see same example f of x is equal to x plus 2 if you are uh, draw the graph of this function function then uh, this graph cuts the x-axis at a point minus 2 uh, which is the root of the given function uh, please note two points uh, which are the important transcendental equation may have no roots a finite or infinite number of real or complex root but polynomial equation of degree n has exactly n real or complex root this is the main difference between transcendental and uh, polynomial equation related to the roots after defining the definition of the root our aim is to understand what is meant by the multiplicity of the roots uh, if we write the f of x is equal to 0 as f of x is equal to x minus xi raised to the m into g of x is equal to 0 that is we have split f of x uh, function into uh, two functions where g of x is bounded and g of xi is not equal to 0 uh, means xi is not a, not a root of uh, g of x then xi is called as the root of multiplicity m please note these things multiplicity this definition in this case, uh, we get f of xi is equal to f dash of xi is equal to is equal to dash 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 uh, is equal to f raised to the m minus 1 uh, xi is equal to 0. Here dash double dash m minus 1 denotes the derivative of order first, derivative of order second and derivative of order m minus 1 is equal to 0. But f raised to the uh, mth derivative of f at point xi is not equal to 0. Then xi is called as a root of multiplicity m. If uh, we have m is equal to 1, then uh, we say xi is a simple root. See example, if f of x is equal to 1 minus cos x, then 0 is the root of multiplicity 2. Uh, please check if uh, f of x is equal to 1 minus cos x, put the value of x is equal to 0. F of 0 is equal to 0. Find first derivative f dash of 0. f dash of 0 is equal to again 0. Find second derivative f double dash of 0 is not equal to 0 therefore 0 is the root of multiplicity 2 after defining the definition of transcendental uh, polynomial equation root and multiplicity of root our aim is to understand um, what are the methods uh, to find the root of the equation there are generally two methods uh, for uh, solving the equation f of x is equal to 0 first one is direct method and second one is iterative method in direct method we are finding the roots of the equation by direct process that is in a finite number of states this method finds all root of the equation at a time uh, as uh, examples um, factorization method synthetic division quadrature formula etc we are uh, we have learned all these in elementary classes 
and here is the second method which is the iterative method um, naturally question arises if we have a direct method then why are you um, thinking about the iterative method uh, because uh, for an equation of n degree higher than 3 it is very difficult to find its root by any one of the direct method that is uh, for a large number of problems it is how we are not possible to find the exact root exact value of the root of the function so we have to find the approximation of the root for this purpose we are studying the iterative methods this method is based on the idea of the successive approximation in this method we are starting with one or more initial approximation or initial guess and obtain a sequence of approximation to the roots in this method we can find only one root at a time here are some examples of the iterative methods that is bisection method second method regular falsi newton ramson method etc these are some examples of the iterative method thank you for watching this video if you like this video please uh, like and share it for more such videos you can subscribe to youtube channel www.youtube.com slash live mathematica if you have any doubt write in coming box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible or you can like the facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on page i will try to solve it in couple of days thank you